I stand in the midst of a multitude of those from every tribe and tongue. We are your people, redeemed by your blood, rescued from death by your love. Oh, yes. There are no words good enough to thank. continues anchoring in my ear, my heart, my brain, that they never allow you to talk. God take them to their permanent silence. Did you understand? Oh, come with him, do. Oh, come with him, fuck. So, Jack, you about wrong sorrow. Oh, yeah, that care. This year, yeah, yeah. Every demonic voices, language, speaking to my brain, my heart, my spirit, my ear, that do not allow God to speak to me. Go into your permanent silence. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus Christ, mighty name we pray. Amen. Oh, the Lord say I've been waiting I'm waiting I'm waiting for these people to love me beyond what they see beyond what is happening they keep on telling me they love me but i've never feel their love tell them my day will soon come i will only go with the people that the love they ask for me is capable to fly if their love is not capable to carry them along they will be left behind one day their heart is far away because devil deceived them. He deceived them in their thinking. He deceived them concerning what they see around them. Want them to love me. <laughs> One more prayer point. We are going to tell God. God. Let everything that has happened because of evil, evil pronouncement disappear. Let them stop happening. Everything that has happened to me, the all that happened around me because of evil pronouncement, let them stop happening. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Because your people can never be full. Because you are, you are our wisdom. You are our knowledge. You are our power. You are our eyes. You are our vision. You are, our, you, are, you, you are everything. And you crown us with glory of thy light. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God, these people coming here every Monday morning. They are not coming because of anything. But because of the love they have for you, even though they don't know how to express the love at times in their house, in their business places, but still you are the God that loves us. Lord, I pray this day, let everything that is distracting our life, our heart, our brain, our love be arrested in the name of Jesus. God, take care of them, stop them, seize them, and give us our peace again in Jesus' name. A little mistake 
we make the people that did not even wise to insult us. A little error make the mighty want to bow to their enemy, which we don't want. So therefore, every distraction, misunderstanding, that, did, that will make us to offend you, Lord, clear it today in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> misunderstanding in marriage, in business, is simple. But spiritual misunderstanding. So if somebody misunderstands God, maybe God has forgotten me. God doesn't answer my prayer. God doesn't like me. God says he will do it. He doesn't do it. God says he's coming. He doesn't come. God says it will happen. It doesn't happen. And you refuse to understand why it's like that. It can lead man to death and not just death, internal doom. Lord, we want every misunderstanding in our spiritual life to be understandable today in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. I pray for spiritual healing. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Clap your hand for Jesus Christ very well. You can have your seat. Ayena ye soro ka ye wa toro. Soro ka ye wa roju. Ayena ye soro ka ye wa toro. Ayena ye soro ka ye wa duse. Soro ka ye wa roju. Ayena ye soro ka ye wa toro. Soro ka ye wa roju. Demonic action, demonic advice, demonic instruction. Every day, God speak to devil into silence. Papa was sorrow, Kaye Waro, Kaye Raye Soro, Kaye Wato, Soro, Kaye Waro, Kaye Raye Soro, Kaye Wato, Soro, Kaye Waro. Ayer, 
ye soro kai ye wa tun sa soro kai ye wa roji o pe ti esu ti pe ton iro o la la iro o soro iro rinrin iro o pa se iro olorun ko ba soro o le wu fun wa olorun ko ba soro a ni wa lara afi ki baba soro kai ye wa roji aye la ye soro aye wa toro
biggest problem the progress the great biggest pro problem in this christian race when rapture is coming jesus is coming i want to make heaven i want to do this the biggest problem dear is that hey if man thinks god knows me god has accepted me in fact god loves me god even spoke to me yesterday i'm not knowing that god has removed hand god has forgotten him god has stayed aside he still remember the dream of heaven the revelation of heaven the promises you are still living and rejoicing on that not knowing that something has happened oh your present situation in the lord are you sure you are not the cause excuse me the, 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 the apostles that make heaven paul peter and others even abraham even jesus christ himself how did they make it what is the strength my people never sit down one day and say what i'm facing right now that is shaking me did peter face it did paul face it okay if they don't face this time what are those persecutions they face which i can compare with my own try and compare their persecution with your own you will discover their own is dangerous more than yours if they make it then you try to be a spiritual researcher if they make it how do they get that strength is it because they work with jesus christ if they work with jesus christ okay they are lucky what about abraham that work with god in the day when there's no holy spirit what about daniel that love god more than himself when there's no holy spirit what about joseph that deny himself of a youth right youth enjoyment where there's no holy spirit how do they make it the only the only way to overcome and make it is you is if you have power or your way to overcome the voice of devil overcoming the voice of you are not talking overcoming the voice of and let me tell you something if you fail devil will keep on talking if you win devil will keep on talking if you are happy devil will keep on talking if you are sad devil will keep on talking if it is well devil will keep on talking if it's not well devil will keep on talking because he's a talkative and he has brought down many mighty by his tongue he has overcome many many countries by his tongue and many kingdom has collapsed by his tongue he trusted his words so much and he keep on moving by the personals of his tongues among the children of god but do you know what we consider him to be a wise man we consider him to be a good friend a chief advisor the person that gives good suggestion or bring fast solution in our situation always he always bring fast solution in our situation but dangerous to our eternity devil respected no man when come to his advice after all his present office and operation in the vineyard right now 
is only advice. Before I left the kingdom of darkness, the name I knew very well that we are calling Lucifer is chief advisor. I never stopped giving this advice. And for your information, either you believe it or not, everyone sitting down there, there's a space for devil in you. Yeah, devil speak to every man each second. Devil speak to every man each second. Devil have no peace, no peace to keep calm. He's so desperate to have everyone in his custody. And devil never feel ashamed, feel defeated like you do. Devil doesn't doesn't realize I come too late, I'm too slow. Mm -hmm. Anytime he comes into your life, he believes he's still the right time. Devil never see himself failing. Devil never see himself being too late. Devil believe at the last minute of your life, he can still get it. He trusted in himself so much. And do you know what? He devil believe if I lose one man, I will get all his children and grandchildren. I will retaliate with the remaining, the people that remain. But children of God, if they lose one, they die there. If they lose one, they fall there. If they lose one, they lose it forever. Why? We are so senseless. We are not wise. Because we don't know how to trust whom we claim we follow. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's go into the Bible. This personality that God gave unto us as our God to pray to him God Jehovah through his name called Jesus Christ. I read my Bible. When I read my Bible, I discovered Lucifer did not, he did not spear him. Devil did not spear Jesus Christ. He went to him with his points non tongue. I read from the book of Matthew chapter 4. Book of Matthew chapter 4. I read from verse 1. I'm reading NIV. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the desert to be tempted by the devil. After fasting for 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. The, then the tempter came to him and said, If you are the Son of God, tell this stone to become bread. I repeat, if you are the son of God, tell this stone to become bread. Jesus answered, it is written, man does not live on bread alone. Even though Jesus needed bread that very moment. Seriously, in need of bread that very moment. But the answer Jesus Christ gave is quite different to what it really need that moment. He said, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Number one, I want to treat here. Devil know your capacity and what you are up to. Children of God, I need you to use you. I want you to apply your brain here now. Not only your hair. Your brain. Let us calculate something together here. Excuse me. After all, Jesus Christ turned water to wine. Is that a sin? Is that a sin? Jesus Christ multiply bread just how many loaves he turned into thousands 
Is that a sin? After all, when they need money to pay tax, he doesn't have cash. He command fish to vomit coins, money. Is that a sin? Excuse me. What's the big deal? If Jesus Christ just turned stone to bread, is there anything different between that with the one he has done? My question is that why and what is the reason why Jesus refused to do that? Huh? Huh? Because it's, he knows that it is the devil that is talking. Huh? Excuse me. Even though if, I know Jesus Christ recognized the voice of devil. Do you understand? But even though he did not recognize, he has no reason to use that power in that place. Number one, he was on the mountain alone. All those miracles Jesus Christ did, he doesn't did it, do it to prove himself. He did it to attract people's hearts to the word of God. He was spoken so that they will know that because in those days there are a lot of magician all those ancient power is still existing in those days so there are powers to prove to them because for you to convince them to follow you and they know somebody can cause rain to fall somebody can cause this to happen so you too must show that me too i'm strong so it is a powerful one that rule in those days but this day wisdom rule so jesus does all those miraculous things for people to believe him and his father but that time he was alone what does he need miracle for tell me nothing did you know why you fall that little gift of yours that little gift of yours anywhere you are either you are needed there or not either your gift is necessary there or not before they before they say anything oh ah. for what listen that spirit that say oh yeah speak tongues speak in tongues you want to paralyze that your tongue and make it useless you speak tongues when god in heaven want to connect with that tongue when you speak it to when you are not communicating the secret of the power of your tongue will be dictated by your enemy but many people want to bluff i'm a holy ghost carrier i'm a spirit filmer you are talking oh god now so the thing happened no the accident just happened in fact that man died instantly ah jesus keep quiet No, 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 no. You can't just use the spiritual weapon in your own way. If you have been in a high level of, in the spirit, you will understand what I want to say. When it's time for you to use your tongue, you will feel it in your body. Did you discover that? In fact, only people will come out from your body. You won't hold, you can't hold it. But you, you are so useless to extend if you want to toast a baby. Hi, babe. Ha. Shira, Baba, you are too beautiful. You can do that. Because that thing is so useless in your hand. Devil molests you. Devil come and, 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 excuse me. Why did devil tempt him with that statement? Because he know, to God, you don't waste the treasure of heaven when it's not needed devil know it's a sin did you discover that are you telling me devil did not know he can turn stone to bread devil know he can do it but devil want him to do it at the wrong time if you choose devil to be your best advisor you will lose the interest of god why is it devil that will tell you to cry that time those days you cry why listening to him 
You are so weak to extend. Devil calls you to do whatever I want you to do at his own time. Then you are not a giant. You are not an hero. You are not strong. You can't be a leader. You can't be a man of God. God hates it when devil dictates. God wants his people to obey only when he's talking. Not when devil is talking. When they say a man is a jealous type, he's jealous on everything. Anyone that moves at the order of the voice of devil, God can never make you a leader of his people. And the key of his treasure can never be given to you because you can release it at the order of devil. I'm telling you, the reason why you are always a loser, the reason why you are always a loser, you just move to perform when God is not performing. You speak when God is not speaking. You talk when God is not talking. Come and see many little, little opposed to young, young evangelists. They started and they died before moving. About to move, they died there. Do you know why? Eh, my pastor friend invite me for program. Okay, can we go and escort me? Let's go. When we get there, newly called, new, brand new chassis anointing that need to wait for his time and his day. He escorts his friend to a program. When he get there, he saw people that is started moving him. Like he used to see it in the dream. My dear, you can see yourself reading, racing dead in the dream for 10 years. If it's not your time, you try it, you won't try it again. He will not get there. He will tell his friend. Ah. And, I, and I have two prayer points I want to lead here. Tell them to give me a chance. Mm, you see, the Spirit of God want me to say something here. Ah. Say it among the wolves. Say it where your angel is not there. To protect you. Say it where God is not ready to speak. And you won't speak again. That is why some people end it when they never started some people ran off when they never stand off they ran off when they never stand up because they move before the movement they go before the time to go and they can make it if you check your bible very well that is Matthew chapter 4. Can you remind me how many miracles Jesus Christ has done before Matthew chapter 4? Please, please check your Bible for me. Do it fast. How many miracles Jesus Christ has done before Matthew chapter 4? Huh? Are you sure? And devil want to be the first commander. Jesus has a lot of reasons to deny devil, to reject his voice, which you obey every day. Sister, hmm. you are strong, you are even trying. In fact, for you to still remain a Christian, you try ah, at your age. Don't you see your mates being called grandma? You are still asking for a child at your age. But my dear, oh, if God refused to answer, after all, there are some prophets, even though they say they are doing fetish things, after all, they call the name of God. When you go there, God will use them faster than all these Bible, Bible readers. And then you come to church to come and do thanksgiving. I've seen children they collected from idol, and they are now prophets. Yes. If you train that child the way of God, he can still become a pastor. Oh, yes. Oh. Okay. And don't, 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 don't place that story in the Bible on your head, though. That Sarah, they are talking, that he reached a certain thing before he had a child. You remember, women of those days are stronger than you people of this age. If you carry Pele at the age of Sarah, will you be the one to burn that child? Ah. Excuse me. Those words 
Anybody in that condition, will he be able to wave it? Answer me. My dear, if Jesus Christ has never drank water or eat anything for 40 days, and devil now comes to tell him what to eat, when, God is, when Jesus Christ is desperate in need of bread, he doesn't tell him what he did not need. He told him what he really need that very moment. If devil came to him what, with what he really need, desperate for, no water, no food, for many days, and Jesus Christ say no to his offer. And uh, you say you are a child of God, you are a Christian, claiming the spirit of Christ is in you, and even though you are not in desperate, anything that seems good, offering to you by devil, you don't know how to say no. You will, you will, you will easily embrace it. After you get hot, do you know what? The worst part. After you get hot, you will still come back to the first Jesus Christ you deny and say, help me to fight devil, he hurt me. Where is Jesus before devil hurt you? Hey. Learn how to overcome the voice of answer me. If you don't know how to fight that voice, that voice reminding you your failure. He will never tell you, Sister, thank God, you are better than some people. Excuse me. If a woman of 40 years, beautiful face, graduates with good job, crying for mar marriage, and always all and frustrated to extend thinking of committing suicide. He's so frustrated like that. And uh, let's talk about a lame, beautiful lame woman. Beautiful lame woman. No education. No family also desperate for husband and she refused to commit suicide in fact she's living by begging of your own age and the same god you are crying to is the same god she's calling and excuse me among those two who is the person that need first attention from god answer me then if God wants to walk according to the record in his presence, 30 years, your number, your number, you know, go reach your number. Because there are billions of human beings praying to be like you. Just want to be like you. Not thousands of billions of them. Wanting God to make them like you. So, if God needs to answer everybody, you need to wait a long days, a long years before it will reach your turn. And then not only that, we have someone of your age that need exactly what you need. The same status, the same image, the same beauty, the same level, the same age. That needed the same thing. But instead of them condemning God in their heart or tongue by the forces of the tongues of devil, they say, God, if you are not even ready to do it, I thank you for what you have done. God, you are too good. After all, you are my God. If you refuse to give me husband, I am your wife already. I will not disappoint you. And they are growing faster in the Lord. There are people like that. 
challenging you in your useless faith. My dear, if God should come, even in our midst here, to walk according to people's faith, he will not touch you before he will go. Because some people's faith will attract him to stay with them. And you will never be remembered. There was a sister, whenever he comes to me, he say, and when I say, sister, how are you? How is everything? How oh, glory be to God. You are looking fresh. He say, yes, so I must look fresh. I must look fresh. Jesus is so good to me. Ah, imagine. Look, my age. Nobody know I'm 52. I'm still looking young because Jesus loves me. I can pray three hours. I can fast. Nobody will know. Ah, you won't, you won't, you won't hear at saying every other area she has been uh, in need. She will be saying, since you thought he has no meaning in the Lord, you were sorting God for it. In fact, you know, last week, God spoke to me. You know, it's a privilege. Imagine. Anybody that has phone number of president in their phone, do you know how they behave? So, mm, the, the, the phone number, the connect number I have with God, it's not on phone. It's natural. It can never go lost. So I'm very, very happy. Many of you can never hear the voice of God. God spoke with me last week. And God told me to keep calm. God told me I'm, in the, in the, in the, I'm on the lost side. God to, ah. When I say, sister, now. You say what? I say, concerning your marital life. Ah, mommy. I ah, don't pretend you are blind now. You are not blind. You know I'm married to Jesus. I could do... Mm. Immediately, I need to keep quiet. Do you know what that means? Don't pity me. I'm, I have no problem. My dear, the only thing that pain me is because when this sister wanted to do marriage in Ghana three years ago, I wasn't able to go. If you see the way God honored this woman, she gave birth to her first twins, first child at the age of 57. Twins. A man. And do you know what? When God wants to do miracle, <laughs> the person that got married to her, now shoemaker, shoe shiner. When that man come, he say, God say, today, I'm going to give you your husband. Say glory be to God. Say open your door. You will see your husband standing at your door. You now hear, Popo, sister, your shoe, shoe China. He just say, Oh, God bless you, brother. Sit down and call me. He doesn't say, I reject, I rebook. You now go inside, go on and hit near. Daddy, is this the, the man, the gift from you? I don't want to make mistake. He said, my daughter, open your eyes. He's a glorious man. As he will come out, he came out with a shield ice water. Say, Oga, forget about you. Drink this. The sun is too much on you. Drink this. I'm, I'm boiling yam. Will you care to eat? He said, madam, I don't mind. I go chop, go chop. That's one give. He ate yam. When he ate yam, he said, oh, yeah, bring your shoe, may I shine? Say, no. I'm not working in any office. I'm a businesswoman. I wear slippers shoes, so don't bother to shine my shoe. You can still come tomorrow for more. Say, thank you, madam. Thank you. Hey, thank you, madam. He go. The following day, go, 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 go. Madam, cold water. He brought it to him. He give food again. The third day, this man cannot come. He, this sister waited, 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 waited. And the Lord said, the man was so sick. He's down. He said, ah, is there anybody to take care of him? Say nobody. After all, this brother is so low. When we are talking about age, they have 15 years age different. Which one be her? Huh? 
This sister was a grad is a graduate, and this brother go to elementary school and stop. Hmm. And not only that, the way this guy dress is not impressive at all. But this sister refused to say no to the order of God because she can recognize the voice of God. Do you know when she, on her nail God gave her address where this brother lived? If I, if she doesn't know the name because she never asked him what's your name. That one call her madam and he took her brother Oga Shushaina. That's the name they call themselves. They don't know their names. He collect, she collected an ad, address. This guy has no phone number. And when he get there, he said, I'm looking for shoe shiner. Not knowing that there are plenty in that house doing shoe shiner. They introduced more than seven to her. He said, no, this is not my shoe shiner. <laughs> they now say, one day we don't seek you. Which butter you want shine? We will not go fish shine. He said, no, I'm not shining butter. I'm shining my life. Now say, come and see this one. By the time he enter, he say, now Daniel, they, uh, Daniel is sick. You know if you work today. Oh. As he saw, I say, ah, madam, I'm sorry. I not get phone and I not get your number for don't call. I did sick. Oh, one or too much. Nigeria, one or too much. Hey, sorry, madam. Eh. He say, okay, no problem. How may I help you? Can I take you to a hospital? Say, ah, it's too big, too much. Oh. Just give me 1,000. I will buy some drug. I will use it. I said, no, 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 no. Get into my car. I will take care of you. So when he get take into the car, take, care, take it into hospital, take good care of him. The third day, he visits him in the hospital. And I say, who are you? I want to know you. That is how he told madame his story. Do you know this boy is a prince? He ran away from his dear life because of the stepmother. The person that killed his mother. Wanted to kill him too. He ran away. That is, and when he came to Nigeria, the money he has, the friend he, ran, he came with, that one too wanted to kill him because of his property. So, he now ran to Akure to become Shushina. That is how he met that woman. And the woman say, people are liars. I don't believe people. If you want me to believe your story, be ready to go with me to Ghana next week. He say, to go and die, he say, no. You don't need to follow me to your father's house. Just point at me. Let me investigate you. He say, okay. The following week, they go and board plane. They fly to Ghana. As they come down from airport, his junior brother is the first person that saw him. He said, Hey, Daniel, hey, guy, hey, oh, you can see. He said, we don't see. You know how they speak their English. He embraced, say, please don't let anybody know I'm around. Say, what do you mean? Father is dead for the past two years. And you are the only one holding everything. And but daddy, uh, daddy wrote his will. If they don't see you. Lawyer must not read will. For past two years, your family have been waiting for you. Not knowing that the father has 200 trailers. Companies and many things. And the stepmother that wants to kill her. That one run mad one year before she died. And the children he, he born. They are two girls. And they are in America married to the white man. So he's the only one that have right to everything. And he say, the junior brother, the last born, has become king. But the property, he has no right to it. So only this Daniel have right. And Daniel no go to school. Now his sister can't take a charge. The educational this thing. See lawyer, do everything. They now become billionaires. Shoe <laughs> China. If God give you shoe China, you no go reject. See their face. You ate it if God tempts you, but you tempt God every day. 
you ate it if god tempts you but you tempt god every day and now listen to the story when this sister first came to me about 15 years different of age the lord said tell her not to bother to go into prayer forget about what people will say why do i give her 15 years age different she going to prayer it is then god show her this brother was born three years before she came to this world but the enemy killed that boy when he was young i don't even remember the age that boy is when god when enemy killed and that is the destined husband and they have set net trap that anywhere that boy is born in nigeria they must kill so that boy waits for many years before they now god now has space for that boy in ghana to be born and god bring that stepmother to chase him to nigeria so that they will meet and god keep that sister waiting because if you marry another person he will surely divorce god doesn't want a story to be bad being too aced, you will distract and destroy the plan of God and you will live a life of error and die in error. Did you know maybe such a thing is in, is in, is in plan? Did you know maybe such things is happening to you right now? Somebody is looking for a child. They go to Abalist. They now say, you do not 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 deserve any child when you are coming from heaven god did not give you any child but do you know we are going to collect somebody's children for you to born they now do something for her they now say bath he bath with that thing they say go and pour it on the road where people used to early in the morning did you know this woman now go and pour it early in the morning saturday morning where many people will be coming from party and night vigil so this lady now became this girl she's a small girl that time around 10 8 10 years she's the first person that mashed the water so all the children that that girl were born diverted to this woman so she became grown she started growing and this woman also started giving birth to children so when this eight years old girl now got married at the age of 25 she now needed children no child is coming the four children she's supposed to give birth that woman has given birth to those four children and this lady was also a teacher and this teacher these children two of them happened to be a, a class student on for this teacher but these children are too close to this woman. Auntie, 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 my food has thought as full of and uh, my food. You know, she will buy, she will do this. So these children, one day, this lady is looking for a child. One day, this children say, Auntie, we will follow you to your house. They follow her to the house. Around six and five in the evening, you know, this woman has been looking for the children. He now come to this sister house, slap her. If you are looking for children, why can't you go to God? Why taking my children? Idiot, nonsense, this, that. This sister now go to God. God, I've waited enough. I'm talking about age 32 that time. She's age 32 that time. God, now I need my children. You promise i've been praying since all these days you say you are giving me four children four children four children now i'm waiting you now pray aggressive prayer god said god now gave a prayer point the prayer point say cause anyone that need to cry to cry for me to laugh cause anyone that need to cry to cry very fast for me to laugh that needs to cry three days fasting and veggie as this sister do it now so you hear the two senior children the first two senior ones die in a motor accident the very week those children die 
that very with sister conceive, he give back to twins. As he give back to twins, when those twins get to age two, the remaining two in our class die. She pregnant that very week again and give back to baby twins again. You know, the first one, God caused it. The second one I just told you now, man caused it. Is that not so? These are the area you put your angel in confusion. God, everyone around me must not cry. And somebody needs to cry for you to laugh. There's a way you place your prayer that will make your angel to be powerless. You won't be able to do. You are the one that say go. You are the one that stay say. So you rather stay. I don't want to go into that. If I go into that, many of you will discover you are the source of your problem. Let me go back to my message. The message said, overcome the voice of devil. When, and, and to be candid, the advice devil gives to Jesus Christ, is that not the only solution? Jesus Christ can go to that mountain. 40 days did not eat. For him to trek down from mountain without food, no water, is it easy? Answer me. It's not easy. The only way to bring solution to his situation that time is to follow the advice of devil. Learn how to be stubborn to devil even when it's necessary to obey him. Even when it's necessary. When it seems that's the only way. Advice of devil is always appear beautiful and wise. Excuse me, on the mountain, no tree that brings fruit, no water, no stream, nothing, nothing, dry place. Excuse me, and nobody is coming there to sell or buy. So tell me, and when he was going, he doesn't go with firewood or matches. Let's say we kill one, one rat. Or wants bush meat and heat, nothing like that. How comes? How can he get alternative apart from only that advice? Is there any alternative? My dear, when all door is closed, all road is blocked, and the only alternative is the only way to offend God and please yourself. Please be stubborn. If you refuse to be stubborn, you will lose your position. You will lose your position in the hand of God. And each time you lose your position, as you go down, your enemy come up. And your mates you are moving before, you can't meet them again. And uh, each time you fall, most of the promises God gave to you in your dream, forget about them, oh, they may not come to pass again. Yes. Yes, most, don't you know, for example, if you, tell, if you tell a son, by the time you mark your 18th year birthday, I will buy you a car. Excuse me, before age 18, if that boy become lame, will you still buy a car? Uh-huh. He promised Ella, that priest old, we never, you will never come out from your family. The same God say, none of your family will reach that place again. And even clear all this lineage. If God can do that to your life, he can also repeat it to anybody. We only, we better don't go get, don't get yourself into the anger of God. If you get yourself into the anger of God, anything can happen. Anything can happen. Somebody tell you, no, his grace is enough. Where is his grace when he, when he changed his plan for Adam? Where is his grace when he changed his plan for Abraham? Where is his grace when that man just tried to help him in the ark of covenant? Usa, where is his grace that day? Why did he kill him? Where is his grace when that husband and wife said we are going to give our land to the work of God? And they just, they don't, they don't mention price. They just say land. 
They know what the church need. Church needs 70,000. I sold my land at the age of 120. And I removed the 50,000 uh, 40, uh, 50, on top. And I give the church 70,000. He still killed them. Ananaya and Safira. Where is his grace that time? And then who is deceiving you say his grace is enough. You after this, you will ask for mercy. If Marua kill you or Kada before you reach home, ask for mercy. Or oh, you are too much. Or Kada cannot kill you. God don't tell you the type of death that will kill you. Either poison, either fire, either bullet, either accident, either dream, or either sickness. Which death is fine, self? Which one good? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ told him man cannot live by bread alone. When he got to verse 5, he did not stop there. He didn't stop there. That devil, devil not devil. Verse 8, then the devil took him to the holy city and had him stand on the highest point of the temple. Verse 6. If you are the son of God. Can you see that statement? Jesus knew he's the son of God. He now said, if you are the son of God. He said, throw yourself down. For it is written. He will command his angel concerning you. And they will lift you up in their hand. So that you will not strike your feet against a stone seven jesus answered in it is also written do not put the lord your god into test praise the lord did anybody understand that statement do not put the lord your god into test what's the meaning of that test statement eh? okay let me help you Jesus is not warning him not to test him. But Jesus is warning him, don't push me to test my father. What God can do and is not ready to do it, you want to put Jesus to force God to do it that time. The same thing happened in your prayers. When you have gone to those pastors, they told you about powerful miracle that has happened in your hand. God, now, now, now. Putting God into test. I don't know why you read Bible, you don't understand it. Jesus Christ refused to do it. And for your information, if Jesus Christ fly from that place, will he wound? The and devil himself know that he will not wound. He now used that statement to challenge him. If truly you are a son of God. And any useless thing devil used to challenge you, your head will swell up. Eh. Ah! For if truly I'm your child, and I did not worship devil, I did not call a power from devil, let people know you are the one that keep quiet. You are a fool. Everything God does, there's a reason for it. Anything that happens for no reason will affect your story. It will affect your history. Let me tell you something. There's only one thing Jesus Christ did in the, in the Bible that his mother forced him to do. Is the only quotation the drunkards are using today. It was not planned to turn water to wine. But because of the respect he has for his mother, and since that day, he does not accept, allow his mother in his ministry till the day of his death. The first day, his mother pushed him to do that miracle. Till today, drunkards are using it. It's the powerful we weapon they are using in the Bible to be a, become a drunkard. And it's not in his plan. Likewise, you. Can't you see Abraham? The only error his wife pushed him to do is the source of Muslim and Christian war today. Even Adam, 
the only error his wife pushed him to do is his sort of death today that man is dying. So everything devil push you to do will destroy your history. We affect your story. And you believe one pastor preached anytime you commit sin, go back to God and beg him. Ah, what about the injury? Commit sin, beg him, he will forgive. But you affect your story. And not only in this earth, even in heaven. You better stop. More error should not come again. You have committed a, enough of error already. Enough of error has been committed already in your life. Don't give chance for more. So that you can bind up the wound you have sustained already. The injury you have sustained already. Bind it up and be strong again. Give no room for another one. Did you know if God said, I will take you to abroad, you will build many houses in Lagos, this and that, and he tested you with 250,000 and you failed to pay tight, that dream may not come to pass. Ordinary 250,000. Can hinder you being a landlord for 10 houses, being American, just 250,000 can block it. And instead of you to say, why is it not coming? Why is it not happening? You keep on challenging God. God, if truly you are God, I must get my visa next month. If I don't get my visa next month, you are not God. You are a fool. God, if truly you are God, if truly you are God, this man must call me today. And by the time when 12 o'clock in the midnight, clock and the man not call you throughout the day. What happened? God is no more God. Now you no be human being. Mind your speech. God, if this thing happen, you are no more God. It's a language from the mouth of Lucifer. Check your mouth. I never say to my God and I will never say so. If words come to words, his name shall be praised. If truly you are God, if truly you are God, no, he's a God and he changes not. My dear, if you challenge God that way, if you are God, if this thing did not happen, or if this did not happen, you are not God. If you are God, make it happen. And he did it. Be careful. He did not do it because of you. There's someone around you God wants to challenge with what he do for you. You will still suffer for that miracle. Maybe someone he loves so much is falling. He wants to pick that person up again. He can use you as an instrument of praises to revive the dead lover. Don't think the way you challenge it arose in. No, he's coming back to deal with you. When God say, I will do it. Excuse me. If God did not allow that king and the ministers to carry Daniel to the lion of death, if a children say, you know all those children, four years, five years, you know they have terrible, terrible questions. Mommy, can Jesus kill lion? They never asked you before. My Samuel used to ask me, oh, Mommy, can Jesus kill lion like this? Chia. I will say yes. You can even kill lion. Chia, 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 chia. You say, what is the meaning of church? I say plenty lion at once. You say, yes, wrong, great. Uh -huh. He can kill not just one, plenty. You say, is Jesus stronger than Samson? I say, ah. It is Jesus that gives Samson small power. He said, no, it's not small power. I say, yes, small, out of the power of Jesus. He said, ah, Jesus is great. He said, okay, I will be singing Jesus. Now you be good. Now you. He's happy. Do you understand what I'm saying? Those things that is written about Jesus, about his miracle in the Bible, do you know the reason why it's written? 
so that you'll be rest assured of whom you follow so that you can believe he's capable to do more than what you think you want him to do for you so that you can love and believe him more if not so he won't write them praise the lord excuse me there are some miracles that you are expecting only for you to bluff to show off and god knows that he's not going to gain anything from it god may not do it at your own time but at his own time he will do it but my dear do you know where where you suddenly become a bastard let me give you just one example God, my house rent. Ah, I don't want to be put to shame. My house rent. My house rent. My house rent. And not that. God has shown you he want to send somebody to help you for past seven years. That's an enemy that always waves. If that person is Oshodi and you want to go to Oshodi to meet that person, that the enemy will make you to seek you have been missing your helper. The person that God has put in, the master key of your wealth is in his hand. More than five times God has programmed your meeting. Enemy did not allow it to work. Now, you need to pay your house rent. And landlord has been threatening you that you mu- he, will, he will pack your load outside. And God now, God knows that enemy is not ready to do you well. So, God now refused to pay that house rent. So the landlord will pack your load out. That day they pack your load out. That your helper will pass that street that day. And pick you to the peak. To the top from that shame. But because you can't stand shame. God. He remained three days. No way. Say, ah. And I say I will not borrow. But I have no choice. My wife just born. I can't allow my wife to be thrown outside with this baby in the hand. I will need to find solution. God has finished this program. The last step to your greatness. But because you are wise, you miss it. You know I borrow lapo money. Money that will take away your life. Because in God's plans, God never plans to pay any debt for you. Because he never planned for you to own debt. But because you believe for anybody to be rich, you must be bold to own debt. Eh, fine. The day the, your helper supposed to see crowd, say, ha, ah, ah, ha, God want that crowd to attract him to say what's happening. Ha, ah, this woman with new baby, just two weeks old. Landlord is wicked and he threw, ah, 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 as if I have space in my house, I will have help especially for this baby. The crowd now gather and the man say, what happened there now? Why? Ba, 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 ba. Okada, come, come out. They say, ah, you gone that you, you are wicked. See this woman with new baby, the true outside. That man will have just pack, pick your wife, pick the baby and give you 40,000, look for something, pack your load, follow me. This thing, but because you are wise, you don't want shame. After all, Jesus Christ faced shame. You don't want shame. Peter faced shame. You don't want shame. Paul faced shame. You don't want shame. Mama Rapex faced shame. But you are too wise than Jesus. You don't want shame. You go and look for money, you borrow. You pack your load. Nobody knew. Your shame was covered. Or you pay landlord. You remain there. And do you know what? After you imagine somebody collects lapo money, debt to pay house rent, the house not go due again. Because you don't want shame. You want to avoid shame. And the plan, the battle just has been fighting for seven years. You scatter it just one, a stair. You waste seven years. And the fool will say, thank you, Jesus. Because they borrowed me that money. So now it's your turn to pay the price. You will suffer. 
It's your turn no long to pay the debt. Is that his plan? If the plan of God for you is to be paying your debt, your debt, then it's not your God. Yes, it's not a good God. If his plan for you is for you to own debt and he paid for you, it's not a good God. Ah, I can't allow proprietor to send my children home. I can't allow my, uh, the proprietor to send my children home. Uh -huh. Okay. Because of that, you go and steal, you dupe your customer, you lie to your customer, you get money in the wrong way. The thing is the material you're supposed to buy 20,000, you told your customer is 45,000 because of the children's school fees. And you bury the future glory of that boy because of that use devilish money you used to pay his school fees. You destroy many things you don't know. Things you don't even are aware of. You destroy them, picking your wise, and come back here and say, Hallelujah. I send my children to university, graduate. Where is the work? The blood of that man you shit with 20,000 will block the success of that boy. Don't you know? Not everything God is capable to do, He will be ready to do. Not everything. He's capable to do all things. But in his own time. Stop misunderstanding him. There are powerful, reasonable ideas. Solution in the hand of devil. But any solution that does not come from God will destroy you. Sister, you were there. At the age of 39 no husband and there was a man in the church you admire him so much you like him so much and some people are saying did you know that brother you never married you. and you thought that brother is married you don't even look inside and they were talking he never married and we are just praying god will give him suitable wife eh? this brother is still is not married the following week you just frame a dream and go to marriage committee ah Sir, uh, uh, I have a revelation concerning. I was praying. It's been three months now. But I've been praying about marital issues. In fact, I go to three days marathon. I just ran it up on Friday. And Friday night through Saturday morning. And I had a dream. And where yeah, I saw they are arranging marriage something. I don't even know the couple. I just went there to, to celebrate with them. And they are now singing song, expecting wife to come in me too i stand say ah, who is the wife and suddenly i saw pastor wife ran to me sister what are you waiting for eh? you never dress eh, can't you see everybody can't you see your group standing there i say me me he just dragged me he dragged me he dragged me and i enter he dressed for me and i enter everybody clap and by the time pastor to my surprise when i look it was one brother he remembered you know eh, eh, i can't eh. Brother, brother Emmanuel, that, mm, that tall brother, fair. The pastor will say, Is he brother Emmanuel? Yes, it's brother Emmanuel. I don't even know his name. Yes, I used, they used to call him brother Emmanuel. It's the one I saw in the dream of Pastor YouTube pray. I even, I even thought, but I believe the brother is married now. He has already here, he did not marry. I believe the brother is married now. I know he's never married. Ah, that means the revelation is true. Pastor, go and pray. You will marry that brother Emmanuel. That you will suffer. You will suffer. The angel of God will not help you in that marriage. You will regret. You have already. You are very fast to cover your shame, but at the end, your shame will be exposed. When your children will grow, they will end up to call you a winch. You will not enjoy the man at last. You will not enjoy the fruit of that marriage. Everything will come upside down, and you will regret. Everyone that congratulates you will pity you. I'm not cursing you. It's a law of karma. Anything that does not match, we never match. Anything that does not match, we never match. Even 10 years, it will never match. Many things will happen to you in that marriage. It's either the two stars will not work together that will cause poverty. And if the two stars did not fight in finance, he may fight in children. The children you will give birth will be stubborn. They won't listen to you. And if they are not stubborn, your guidance angel may not work together. By the time enemy comes in to fight, 
your angel cannot work with angel in war you will pray together it will not work because you are not compatible so your children may be dying the man may die in time you may become widow in time so far they are not match you will never match and if you manage to marry in hand one of you must go to hell so if you say you are smart giving pastor fake dream story go ahead happy married life congratulations all that are waiting to for god don't believe they are smarter than you you are coming back to say sorry to them wait and see yes because yoruba say be rock by logo do no matter how fast is lie one day the truth will rise and capture it And that thing you do is an advice of devil. If you are walking by the advice of devil right now, stop. If you are walking by instruction of devil now, stop. Because if that thing you start is an advice of devil, God will remain silent until you stop. God won't talk to you. God won't speak to you until you stop. If that marriage you enter is the advice devil gives to you, God will not talk to you on your children. He will not talk to you on your marriage. He will not talk to you on anything until you do that restitution. God will not talk. How come devil will lay the foundation and God will now build it up? Is it possible? No. God will not talk. So far, devil is still speaking, God will not speak. If you want God to talk, then go and do restitution. Not just marriage, even business. Not just business, even in the church. Not even being workers or member in the church. Even you found a church, you established church, and God did not say so. You have been working under a ministry for 10 years, for 20 years. You open branch for them. After all, I've opened two branches. I know how to establish church. Let me go and start my own. Daddy, God say I should step aside. God say I should start something. You have started. Things now happen. While lies happen. You better rest Close that church or else God will stop talking to you. Yes, you cannot lay your foundation by devil and you're expecting God to talk. So far the voice of devil is sweet in your hearing. God will stop talking. Overcome the sweet tongue of devil which is poison. Overcome the sweet tongue of devil which is poison. Overcome it. Stop it. Fight it. No, 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 no. Devil cannot tell you to steal your organ money, your boss money, your brother's money. Start business with it. Paying your tithe. And now you are begging God to make that business to grow. It's a lie. You must start from the beginning again. This message is very, is very dangerous. It's not easy to do it. But do it before the time will be taken away from you. You can't start with devil and hand with God. God must be the foundation of everything. A man came to me. He asked six children. They are all dying mysteriously. Mysteriously. Until they remain only two. He now came to me. Woman of God. My children die mysteriously. The firstborn died with strange bullet. Second one died with electric shock. Third one died with accident. Fourth, he just tell me the fourth one was poisoned to death. Mommy, and I'm still dreaming about this too. When I pray, do you know what God told me? He said, she's the one that kills someone mysteriously. And everything that gave him joy must die mysteriously. I say, why? He said the woman he married to was seriously in love with somebody that the 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 um you know man ogun will that the father of that girl give to this lady he sold the house to sell his boyfriend to america but before the brother will come home to come and take this lady he used sham for this lady slept with this lady pregnant this lady to extend this brother when he came back see his own wife that is about to marry with pregnancy he ran mad he can't return to america by the time this lady will give back to this baby, his eye, her eye come down. 
say, ha, how come I marry this, this man, this old man? The real person I want to marry, Steve, is in our blood. They say, sorry, forget about Steve. See, Steve at the bus stop is mad. So this lady now manage give birth to those children. By the time I want to give birth to the last one, sixth one, she died. And this man is expecting joy. How will he get the joy? Until he returned to God from the foundation and be begging God. I have done it. The man is supposed to restitute you. Two of them has died. Stephen has run man and died. The other girl has died also. So he need to go back to God. To beg God for that wrong foundation. Are you there listening? Because you easily forget when you are wrong. You always accuse for what is happening. Accuse God and man for what is happening now. Will you go back now? Stop that useless advice devil giving to you. At times you know you are guilty. Devil will say, after all, are you the only one? Are you the first person to do that? After all, maybe you have prayed last year. You beg God last year to forgive you. After all, the Bible says God is a merciful God. Stop, stop blaming yourself, Joe. Stop blaming yourself. In fact, do another thing. He give you another instruction. You follow. Mochimo, Mochimo, Shere, Iwoto wa Faraha. Woto wa simi, Iwoto shamba wani wa Mochimo. God know and detect all your errors. If you forget, God cannot forget. Go back to those errors. Correct it and don't listen to more advice from devil. Don't listen to more advice from devil. If you are a member in the church, you left your church. Why? Because your pastor gave you suspension. It's better a man suspend you than God suspend you. Because they give you suspension. He say he has disgraced you. Public disgrace. When people sit, see you sitting at the back, they are asking you many questions. And, and I'm ashamed. You left the church. My dear, go to thousands of church. You would die a rejected child. Because anybody under suspicion, you are rejected. Spiritually rejected. You better wait and finish the suspicion. And after the suspension, you must wait and do your correction. Let the angel of God, uh, of God in that church approve you before you leave that church. If you are one of them, left your church because they discipline you, they suspend you, they correct you. Go back to that church unless God say leave. Even though you are my member, I'm ready to release you for your correction. Because if you serve as a member in my church and your record is error, if my own record is good, they won't transfer my record for you. Or when I'm going for rapture, when I'm going with rapture, you just want to escort me. Mommy, bye bye. I wish I can follow you. Is that your wish? Then why? Why should I remain, retain you when your record is wrong? You better go and start. Correct your own from foundation. Correct your own. Perfect it. Make sure your record is clear. Don't compare your own with anybody. Too much advice will push you against God. And for your information, when they say devil advice, devil can use the mouth of your pastor, can use the mouth of your mother, your wife, your friend, your children. When devil is speaking, be careful. Wash it. Overcome the voice of devil. Stand on your feet. On your feet. Jesus, Lord, var of my soul. Ah, me subomi. Sati. It's okay. I'm born. I'm born. TTG. I am
pray this prayer with pain, serious pains in your heart. God, everything I have started in my life with the advice of devil, which I mix, mistakenly thought you are the one that dropped it into my heart. I think you understand that. Forgive me today. Correct me today. I want to do the correction. Help me. Every demonic idea that the devil has given to me, and I have done it perfectly, I thought you are the one supporting me. Not knowing it's devil forgive me i really want to correct help me Open in up. jesus christ's mighty name we pray listen this same demonic advice has come to me some years back when we are still in the plank you know we normally do seminar very well that time so one day one year want to do seminar and some people tell me say ah if you want people to come Tell them there's going to be free treatment, test. And I'm a nursing sister, I'm, I'm a doctor. I will bring my existing colleagues. We will test people, do tests for free. It now give me an example of many great, great church that have been doing it. Great, great pastors that have been doing it. When people hear about free tests, free this thing, free treatment, they will come. And to me, I say, ah, that's a good idea. Oh. That's a good idea. I have agreed. They have printed the arm bill. The very Monday program that we are going to share the ambil. I was minister. I was ministering. That thing, the people that know me for long, if I'm saying something, God doesn't like it, or you want to stop me, or you want me to do something, I did not do it. There's a way to punish me, even though I'm ministering. So, saliva now enter into my... <laughs> and I'll give people prayer points. I go inside the small NG room. To help myself to drink water, and I'll say, you. That thing you put in this, and be, am I the one that send you? Now you have new master. I'm going. You know. I say, go where? Ah, if you don't like it, that's the end. That is the end, yo. In Jesus' name, we pray. I quickly come. In Jesus' name, we pray. They say, ah, I say, everybody, you will pray for me today. Devil has started using me. The same moment we reject with the book. I said, don't reject or you don't have more radio. And I bring the hand bill. They brought it. That is why if you are a pastor, you always feel ashamed to expose yourself. You will be dis destroyed. That's the way you will do things. God himself will forgive you before you ask for forgiveness. So, don't, don't prove you are smart when, when game comes between you and God. Don't be smart. If you are smart to, God, to man, don't be smart to God. Though. You are too small. You are not smart. I disgrace myself before he deal with me. I say somebody give me and, and God now catch the person who give me advice. He did here that day. I say this is the person that gave me advice. So <laughs> me. <laughs> now me and him go disgrace together, not be only me. <laughs> now this person give me advice so that we should bring free test, free treatment to, to our semi now. And I bring the ambulo. That thing that happened to me, I enter now. God say he will depart from me if I share that thing. So am I not able to heal? So I've been healing many people in this ministry. So now you want to bring Dr. Him to rival me happy? I will not face, I will not wait for this disgrace. I'm going. Help me, beg God. Do all the members go on their knees? They say, God, sorry. Oh. I say, oh, Shakari, I'm going to burn it. Go and burn it. That day, the healing that happened in Monday program, that day. See, today I've never seen the type of healing. Many healing. Healing. This power of healing. Just come down. Since that day, I don't try it. We, you today, you imitate everybody. Whatever they say they are doing in one church is what you practice in your church. That is why God departs from you. Beg him. I think that's a good example. Whatever they do in the other church is what you brought in to your church. There was a year also, either it's convention or something, we are now, they now say, let's put it, learning of soap, learning of this, learning of that. 
I put it in the program. God say, huh? So this place has turned to work shop. Okay, start your home. I will go and look for somebody better than you. Now I can't call the baby. Hey, 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 hey. That workshop, cancel it. Cancel it now. No. Workshop. Thank God God talk. My people, I don't know where you get it wrong. You may not remember. Let's beg him. On your nail. Very simple things can set God against you. Very simple thing. Be begging him now as you are on your name. In fact, I may not remember. Just forgive me. Show your mercy. Forgive me. On your name. Usher, on your name. Everybody, on your name. I don't want to see anybody standing. That man standing there. On your nail. Everybody on your nail. Aye aye dariji. Allah no dariji. Odubala dariji. I don't know how many times I've done this error. Just forgive me. The punishment by this mistake. I know that punishment comes from you. Forgive me. In any area you are for punishing me now. Forgive me. In every area you are punishing me. Forgive me. I've done a lot of error. I have scatter your plan, hinder your plan. Forgive me. I can see you are you are tired. Don't be tired, God. Oh, start again with me. Come back to your position in my life. Shanome, Dariji. Oti lo mu agbo banuje agbo sise wa pada wa sodo Olorun. Oti lo si gbere. Bere o je o se wa nbi Olorun lekeji. O si lo gbe bo, nto lo ma sele o sele o pada wa nbi Olorun. Ni ko dariji e. Ni ko dariji e. In Jesus Christ mighty name we pray. Stand on your feet. Mimo, mimo, mimo. Oju eleshe, kuleri ogure. Let me say this prayer point on Yoruba before I interpret to English. Olano, you know record you we are going to fair bagja. Toru kumbati wambe fano yo. You just don't see when you have me Yoruba me. God, in the record list of those people you want to fight, if my name is there, remove it today. Who am I that you want to fight? No, be fight, you want to crush you. If my. Uh, if you have already bought a prophet of God you're supposed to burn, beg him to forgive you now. If my name is in the record, of those you want to fight, please in your mercy remove it today. I'm not in for you to fight. To. What are you going to fight in me? Is it my head, my leg, my stomach? God, don't fight me. God, don't fight me. Oh, if my name is among the record of those you want to fight, remove it in your mercy. Open your mouth and pray. Jesus Christ, mighty name, will pray. Ah, heavenly Lord, we thank you. Because you still answer prayer. The God we did not see that sees us. We don't even know him. He knows us better than we know. God, you are the only one that can release before anybody will be released. You are the only one that can save before anybody will be saved. We just want your mercy. We want our name to be, to be removed from the list of your anger. Remove our name from that list in the name of Jesus.
King Kong can you hear me? King Kong you see how desperate is that chimpanzee looking for that woman huh I was in my on my knee one day praying for somebody and I saw that mighty creature searching for somebody desperately and on searching many people were dying this creature killed more than 20 billions of people searching for only one person ah this thing was terrifying and i i just come back to myself and say yes that is how i search for you i wasted many souls to get you for me don't disappoint me as as desperate as i am to get you to this position that is how my hunger be will be if you disappoint me my dear i'm lucky to know my own do you know your own if you know the history of you and god you will be afraid to offend him did you ever care to know the history between you and god why he make you what you are i want to ask a funny question are you a virgin are you a virgin i oh, know like how many women have you slept with in your life ah many many why you did not catch hiv ah god's grace oh. god grace somebody contact hiv the very day he got this virgin and he die and he go to hell and god is not moving and he keep on saving you saving you saving you till today and we are not sure you are not going to fornicate again still the only thing to pay him back is to disappoint him why many got hiv just the first time and you can't count how many times you have done it he still continue protecting you do you think for nothing there's a special reason try to know the history of your relationship with god you will be afraid did you know how many times he has transferred your accident to another person? Do you know how many times he has transferred your sickness to another person? Do you know how many times he has transferred your death to another person? Do you know how many people that have been in victim, in sorrow, in pain because of you today? Did you have you ever peeped into the record of God? Have you ever peeped, peeped into his program? Did you ever know what is going on in the spiritual world for yourself? Do you know the reason why many people become winch because of you? Did you know anything? And you are busy asking for what you need. You never care about what he need. Which type of ungrateful human being are you? Do you know how many times God has regrets for even loving you? That's your problem you never want to know anything about god all you know is about yourself what you want why you want it everything you never care to know the feelings of the god almighty oh you are going to beg God once again. Ah, God never stop investing and no harvest. Ah. ah. Ah, like I used to tell you, thank God for me, it's not your God. You will have been forgotten for long. Sir, did you go to primary school? In your primary school, in fact, let's say in your primary one, primary two, like how many students do you start together? In your school, did you have up to 300 students? In your primary school, days. yes. Are you sure all of them are alive today? Okay, among that 200, guess like how many of them will be alive today? I 
don't know. I'm not sure they will be up to 50 out of 200. Why are you one of the lucky ones to be alive? Grace of God. His grace is not for, for nothing. All his grace is for a reason. You refuse to get the reason. You just refuse to detect the reason. Praise the Lord. I don't know why God loves you. Keep quiet. Why can't you try to know the reason why he loves you? And if you discover it's not easy for you to know the reason why he loves you, why can't you keep the love and share the love? Why shattering the love every day? Yes, you are also here to get miracle. Have you paid back the one he has been giving you? Have you paid him back? You can't pay back only to receive more. Oh yeah, let one of you pray. God, give me a child like my own in your hand. The way I am to you, let my children be. Oh yeah, pray it. Now they pray again. Tell God to give you a child like you. The king will go the way they behave to God, the way you be to God. Tell God to give you a child that will behave like that. If a partition will kill you. Somebody say, I'm gentle. All of you that you know you are gentle here, yeah, raise up your hand. Let God give you a gentle child like you. I'm going to beg God. Beg him very well. God, listen. God. Your love that devil has taken away from me, restore it back. I discover I offend you because your love is no more in me. Am I right? The love, your love, your trust, confidence I have in you, which devil has taken away, restore it to me. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Raise up your head. Give fair or see give fair or really want to love you Jesus we really want to love you you know the level of the pollution in the planet we are we only ask for your able hand to strengthen us the weather is polluted the water is polluted the land is polluted. The plant is polluted. The man is polluted. The animals is polluted. Everything is polluted. We are polluted. You are the only one that can make us whole and holy. Ah, ah, Lord. If you want only one and the world is not holy, how do you produce only from unholy? It is you that can do it. No man can do it. You say, blessed is the man you did not count their sin on them. And it's you who share the mercy reign over our life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Ah. Oh God. There are some things you permit, but you don't like it. At the end, it will not go. And we are happy you permit them. And it's not your will. Permissive will. Ah, God. Every one of us, we are just running our life, our ministry, according to our desire. Forgive us. Amen. Forgive us. Amen. Forgive us. Amen. Forgive us. Amen. 
forgive us forgive us show mercy in the name of jesus christ lord god almighty today we beg on you let the record that is keeping our destruction be born to ashes in the name of jesus christ the angel you have preserved in the book of Revelation to destroy all the stubborn one, all your enemy, because the sinners are your enemy. You have empowered some angels for destruction. God, remove a name from that error, from that error book in the name of Jesus. The error code that has been placed on us, Take it away in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Everything, and I say everything, that devil has succeeded doing against us. Stop it in your mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. Let every soul here resume back to your genuine program in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let every one of us return back to where you place us for your real plan to come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If we continue dancing, praising on the platform of error, it is sure we will not see you after death. And we don't want it that way. That song says, bye or bye. When the man come, we will understand. Everything that man understands after bye and bye, and it's not right, will lead man to destruction. And we can't wait for that bye and bye. You. That's why we are begging now. Let every error be correct. Let every error be cancelled. We are not ashamed to start all over again. We are not ashamed to go to the beginning. We are ready. Is that so? God, can you hear them? They say they are ready. Let the correction begin. Let the correction begin. Those that did not have gift to see, to hear, and they have been lying, they see, they hear. Forgive. We want to start from beginning. If anybody say, brother, what do you see? I'm sorry, I don't see. We want to start. Are you ready to start again? Yes. God, correct. Amen. Correct. Amen. Correct. Amen. Perfect us. Amen. Come back to our life. Amen. Come back to your place. Amen. Our spirit, our soul, Amen. our brain, our heart. Amen. Be in charge. In the name of Jesus Christ. Stand on your feet now. Every demon that has been taking position in our life. Because you are not there. Every demon, principality, and kingdom that have, that have taken your position. Claiming your right in our life. In your anger, destroy them. <laughs> Accessory demon. Territorial demon, monetary demon, standby demon, international demon, all those demons that have been in charge in places in our life, destroy them in the name of Jesus Christ. Torino, Kashe, Rebe, Lori, Mihe, Kashe, Rebe, Lori, Baba. You don't know the meaning of that song. He said, Let your kingdom and your authority begin on me now. Let your kingdom start in my life. Let your kingdom reign in my life. In fact, let it start now. Can you see this song? It's powerful. I want to 
ti joba ninu ile re awon alale ati eku idile ki se won dopin amen ki duty won ton amen ka se baba wa pere ninu ile ra ka se ra pere That are disturbing your dream, giving you fake vision, revelation, and dreams. Let the ambition stop. Amen. Let the assignment stop. Amen. Let the angel of God resume your dream land in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Business that turn instead of profit always debt. The demon in your marriage instead of joy sorrow all the time. Let go, sack them, and throw them, withdraw them, Amen. and receive in His glory in your marriage in your business again. Amen. No, no, no. <laughs> Solution very fast. Maritally, child bearing, nobody loves you, everybody hates you, nobody understands it. You are just alone. Loneliness is too much. That demon that put you in that bondage of loneliness and that, that put you in confusion, let God stop them, render them powerless, and let the Holy Spirit come up in your life and start to walk again. Amen. Premature death, barrenness, loneliness, failure, sorrow, or covenant of hell. Let the power of resurrection dry them, cancel them, break them, and make you a new person. Amen. Let there be a new beginning. Amen. Amen. I decree with unreversible authority every area you have been disappointing God you will return and fulfill the plan of God every area devil has much and trample on your glory may you go there and rise to shine in the name of Jesus Christ everything that you have tried spiritually and it seems too strong that you think you cannot make it for God anymore that's your ministry that is done your call that is done your gift that is done your talent that is done with power with glory come back to your feet Every 
thing the devil has placed on you mark seed that is working and growing to your destruction the bible say everything that has not planted by my every father shall be uprooted may they be uprooted in the name of jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. that thing in you that make it very difficult for you to please god to say what god wants you to say to do what god wants you to do to go where god wants you to go that thing shall drive Jesus is greater than your problem it makes me proud anytime I remember is even greater than hell is the only solution to escape from hell I'm very happy that means the greatest solution in heaven and earth is in my hand yes 
I don't know whether you get to be me and guys. Are you sure? Okay, you get. Person we get that you get Jesus. <laughs> the best solution is the Jesus Christ you handle with levity hands. And when I have Jesus, I have everything. But anything Jesus did not have for me, want for me, I won't get it. But everything he wants for me, I will get it, no matter the situation may be. Then, nobody can destroy me. Yeah. If I say nobody can destroy me, I know what I mean. And it's real. When I say nobody can kill me, I know what I mean. And it's real. Do you know why? When Jesus Christ is still happy with me, when he's with me, when I'm with him, I'm undestructible. Nobody can do anything. Because Jesus is a winner man. Jesus is a winner man. Jesus is a winner man. He's a winner man all the time. Hallelujah. Jesus is a winner man. Jesus is a winner man. Jesus is a winner man. He's a winner man all the time. Winner man, winner man, winner man. Before you sit down, do you, the message of today, do you remember what it say? Hmm? Overcome the voice of the devil. So go back. That useless advice that has been given to you, you thought you are smart. Smart. Go back and tell God you are sorry. Okay? Those blame you have been given to God. God assuming you are doing time. This thing will have not happened. It is because this thing happened. And for your name not to be disgraced in my life. That is why I do this. The day they nailed Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary. People like you will say God of Jesus is disgraced. Is that not so? That God has been disgraced on the cross today. What, what is happening to that God? He is to be praised. You are too small to protect the, the, the glory of God. Just obey what he say. Sagbona, sagbona, eh yini, eh yini fe, eh yini fe me. Bato bara she si ya, bo ukoni ki yoshi. Spirit to obey shall be given unto you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen.